Oh my goodness. So um, I had to install a couple of 8x4 signs. I figured I could do it by myself. I thought it'd be easy enough. I get there and there's a bunch of, you know, the formed plastic letters that are already up there. I don't know the proper term for that. And they got the, uh, the little stud posts that go into the brick. And man, that was a pain in the butt to take out. Only charged the client two hours for an install, but I think that took me at least three. But I might just chalk that up as a loss. But here's a little bit of footage of me trying to get that stuff out. There was a massive uh, wasp nest that was near me and I'm way up there on a ladder. Um, I have a hammer drill and I was not about to take a chance, but I looked down at my bag and I just happened to have wasp spray in my bag, which is something that I forgot that we try to keep in there. Anytime we're doing window perf at schools or doing any type of sign installation work, it's always very handy to keep wasp spray on hand, at least in southeastern North Carolina. Not sure how it is where you guys are, but I was very thankful to have that in the bag. I was putting up a eight foot by 16 foot mural, you know, four eight by four panels together for another school today. And board number two was not formatted correctly. It was oversized. And that's the one that we screwed into the wall. And then we started trying to piece the other ones around it and it wasn't happening. So we basically wasted two and a half hours this morning to do that install, just to take that all the way back to the shop. Lesson learned from that is when you have a multi-panel installation like that, it's always a good idea to line it up in the shop first before you travel to go try to install this on a wall in the school. Uh, because we had to take that back to the shop and then 
unload all four boards. That way, when we do get that board reprinted, we can line them all up and make sure that we're good to go. So, I gotta keep that in mind next time. I'm leaving the metropolis of Cerro Gordo, North Carolina. Cerro Gordo. And headed down to the metropolis of Tabor City. It is the town of Tabor City. It's not the city of Tabor City. It's the town of Tabor City. To go do some measuring for a storefronts that wants some window perf. I'll take you along for the ride. Okay, so the business I just went to is a major DTF operation. Like, they're on TikTok selling DTF like crazy. And they have a Mamaki DTF machine in there. The 16th Mamaki DTF machine in America is in Columbus County, North Carolina, my county. And it wasn't me that bought it. Holy cow, that's crazy. Anyways, that was really neat. They really got it going on in there. Pretty wild. Okay, so I also printed some graphics on glass today. Um, it's going on a glass uh, little tabletop and printed it in reverse on the bottom side with some white on top. Here's how that came out. And I'm going, oh, there's my kitty cat. And I'm just gonna wrap up the video here. Appreciate you guys tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Here's that footage. Thank you. Take care.